Hello, welcome to part 42 of Let's Play Dark Souls. As you can see, Framped here is sleeping on the job, so let's give him a nice smack. No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Well and wide awake. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. Well then, how about you wake up when I need you? Come on, buddy. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're here today because we've tied up all of our loose ends and it's finally time to finish things up. So. Pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Uh, we are gonna need him to uh, get on down to the. Very exactly well. Is. Then stay still for a moment. The uh, lower area. Right, we've seen this cutscene. He just takes us in his mouth. <laughs> I need to show that again. Uh, just enjoy the fluffy, fluffy mustache one more time. Yes, here the. Uh, the Lord Vessel, that's what it is. Uh, and we're gonna offer up our souls now. So remember the souls are the big four lord souls we were after from uh, Seath, Four Kings, Witch of Isleth, and Nito. It's going to open us up into this mysterious ethereal realm. And we're going to see the ghosts of Gwyn's knights walking. Sort of giving us a hint as to where we're heading towards. Here we are at the Kiln of the First Flame. So the name should be fairly straightforward, but to explain a bit, this is specifically where the first fire was. It's also where Gwyn came to throw himself into the fire in order to link it. And with the fire fading, we come to finish the job, or rather repeat it. So we're gonna see a lot of uh, Black Knights along the way here. Um, and these are the only Black Knights in the game that respawn. So you can actually farm for the weapons here. Right? So up until now, we would have had to just get lucky with the few that are out in the world. But uh, yeah, good dodge. Okay, take that guy up. And look, oh, we already got lucky, I think. Got a chunk. Um, oh yeah, I think these guys also guarantee drop chunks of all colors, as we'll see. Uh, yeah, we're going to see the whole the whole squad. So I think that's an ultra great sword wielder up there. So the reason they're all here, by the way, um, if you remember when I was explaining some backstory, uh, if we think back to the Chaos Wars when uh, Gwyn fought ow, the Chaos Demons after the Witch of Izalith caused chaos. Oh, I'm actually kind of scared here. Yeah, these guys have a lot of poise, so we can't just trade blows and interrupt them. Backstabs. So yeah, when, uh, when he fought the Chaos Wars, he brought Silver Knights with him originally, but those Silver Knights were warped um, by the Chaos uh, into the Black Knights, and they became Gwyn's most loyal knights. So those same knights are the ones that sort of uh, burned with Gwyn. I don't know if they contributed to igniting the first fire. They probably did, but... Compared to Gwyn, it was like just throwing a few wood chips in a big bonfire. So, but they still sacrificed themselves, and most were incinerated. The ones that were incinerated were actually the ghostly ones that we saw walking over there. Um, but yeah, a few of them did survive, and without with their leader dead, they kind of just wander around, and that's sort of the explanation for why we just find them in random parts of Lorgen. Uh, but yes, a lot of them are still staying, standing guard over. Gwyn spotty. Uh, so yeah, this one is this one's a little dangerous to fight here. Oh, I messed up the parry there. Okay, yeah, I know, I know. I'm, I'm going for the backstabs. But can you blame me? Ooh. Okay. Do a lot of Estus. Now we're at it. Another chunk. And over there. 
this is we're gonna get one less armor set, like I said. One of my favorite sets. Shouldn't be surprised what it will be. But the Black Knight set. Yep, you can get their armor and you get it here. Definitely gonna be using that armor, I think. But um, we'll save that for New Game Plus. For now, we gotta. I feel like this has been. I really like this armor, right? The uh, mix of the Silver and Elite Knight. I like it a lot. Never did it in particular. Worked very well. So, only seems appropriate that we uh, finish the fight with it. So, right here. If you complete Solaire's quest line, you can actually summon him for the final fight, which uh, we are gonna. Um, I kind of want to clear out the knights first, though. <laughs> let's let's do that. And I'm a little bit low on Estus, so I'm a little worried about that. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Because I feel like these knights are just gonna just kill Solaire right away. Uh, oh, big jump! Ten out of ten for sticking the landing, but. Should watch your back. Yeah, I do. I do feel bad. Oh boy. These poor knights just getting chained backstab like this. <laughs> so, ooh, nice. We got the great axe there, and a chunk. And then finally, we have Mr. Halbert here. He's also going to go down real easy, <laughs> thanks to backstabs. I am so glad that they nerfed backstabs <laughs> in the sequels, because. They're a little bit overpowered from being here. So, um, and then this guy will jump blue So yeah, like I said, all these knights will respawn. So you can just kill them, farm for their weapons, and then also just build up a lot of chunks. You also get a decent amount of souls. So throw on the gold and silver serpent rings, throw on a podcast. This is my favorite grinding, grinding spot, I think. I know that the phalanx thing from the last part is technically better on paper, but get to fight black knights how can you not like that anyway summon solaire and let's get ready so i find this is a very fitting end for solaire yeah he was in search for his son we saved him and now he's gonna fight the uh the son himself in a lot of ways because <laughs> i'm pretty sure gwyn is like what powers the sun somehow um we can actually get a look in there i think yeah, see, kind of, you can see Gwyn right there. He's holding his sword. Bit hard to see, but um, so I took a look there. <laughs> anyway, I think we'll take him on two-handed. We do have Solaire backing us up, but this can be a very tricky fight. But you know what? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm a little scared to do two-handed because you'll see we're not fast rolling, so I'm a little bit worried that um, we're not going to be able to roll away much because uh, Gwyn, Gwyn's got a lot of power, as you'll see, but. Not the hardest boss, so either way, without more talking, let's uh, sort of just take this in. Because uh, the music, oh my god, the music for this fight is so good. Pay attention. Yep, you can parry Gwyn. <laughs> so I'm not going to be too cheap, I'm not going to just chain parry him. So they're good. Ooh, good touch. Okay, yeah, we gotta be careful here. No! Leave him alone. Oh, yeah, watch out. He's got a grab attack. He'll, like, blow you up. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, Gwyn, he kind of just looks like a... Gwyn is hollowed, by the way, as you can see. Even he couldn't hold off the undead. Oh, wow, he's already almost dead. Anyway, let's just put him out of his misery um, before he kills Solaire. <gasps> he killed me! I got cocky. <laughs> oh man, anyway, yeah, I'm, I was just trying to be cinematic because the song is just, ah, the music is so somber, right? And when you think about really the story of Gwyn and how it all ties together, like, he, he cared about his world and uh, did the best he can to keep it going but just you know reality you know reality catches up to you and life can't go on forever and ultimately when you uh when you resist what life gives you too much like what Gwyn's doing he's resisting he doesn't he's not he can't let go then things start to get the ugly like that's how we get the curse of the undead that's how we get 
all of the suffering in this game, but and then all of it, it culminates, all of our journey and suffering, all the souls we've gathered, it all culminates to this battle. And then we get in there, we're expecting Gwyn to be in his prime, ready, like when he fought the dragons, but we just get some somber, sad music. And uh, yeah, he still puts up a fight as you saw, because got cocky there, I thought I could. Thought I could uh, take my time with him, but it's always in the last second when you gotta be the most careful. Anyway, we'll summon Solar again. Um, I won't cut this out because uh, because we're actually uh, running a bit short on footage today. <laughs> Since uh, all we have to do is the boss fight, and this area is kind of small. So I think I'll show you guys running through it one more time. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be cocky and assume I'm going to win this next fight, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Famous last words, right? Sure, so we got these ten tries now. Ooh, we got the Black Knight shield. That's that's also one of the really slick looking shields. Let's uh, throw that on right now. Oh yeah, real cool. Um, anyway, I'm not gonna use it because you know, Dragon Crest, and figure we'll finish the game with the build we've been using. This is a very uh, cool design area. You can sort of see all the all these like spikes on everything. I think that's from uh, when Gwyn linked the fire, it was like a giant explosion and like all this stuff kind of like so got caught on fire. And so that's like, you know, all the pillars melting and like the fire shooting it backwards. It's really cool. Ah, so. Great. There we go. Let's see if we can chain this into a backstab here. That'll do it. Some more chunks I don't need. Anyway, uh, we're human, right? Yes, so Solaire should be right here. Him going. Whoa. Oh, wait. Okay, well, hopefully these knights don't kill Solaire. I'll be able to take him out before uh, they get to him. Alrighty. Yeah, this, the axes are the scariest for me to parry because uh, you're kind of playing with fire when you parry because if you mess it up, um, you take the full brunt with the attack, of course. Unless you get a partial parry, then you're fine. Anyway, all we have is this guy left. Um, okay, yeah, I cannot parry them. <laughs> get him, there. Get him! Oh, but he has eye frames. Alrighty, so with our 10,000 souls and another halberd, we are now ready to take on Green again. Okay, so be a little more careful this time. Ooh, messed up the parry. Oh god, help me, Slayer, help me! Oh. Okay, good, good, gets attention from me. Now nah, let's help it. God, yeah. If you're not fast rolling, this can be a very tough fight. Yeah, he's he can kick too. Um, don't know how he didn't grab Slayer there. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Just be extra careful here. You can't backstab him though. That would be a little, <laughs> a little much in my opinion. All right, let's get the final blow. Yeah. Oh, I don't know who got it. Anyway, thank you, Slurp. Let's praise the sun. Good job. You, you've done your best. You are a worthy, respectable man. Hats off to you. Okay, hold out. Oh, whoa, buddy. Whoa. He's dead. I'm not the enemy. Anyway. <laughs> Get out of sunlight metal because Slayer, of course, is a sunbro. And we get the soul cinder. And with that, we have completed Dark Souls. There are no more challenges ahead of us. All we have to do is what Cramp told us, which is to link the flame and continue the Age of Fire. And I can tell you, you know, 
I remember too when I first beat Dark Souls getting to this point was just the biggest like whoosh, kind of moment of just like dang what the hell did I just put myself through and you should feel that way too if you if you made it this far you're one of the few that actually managed to get through Dark Souls so good job to you and good job to me for doing that all on camera <laughs> Yes, it's been quite a journey, guys. Thank you all. I know I've, like, especially in the last few videos, I've been saying thank yous, but I figure at the end, we're here. So I will uh, say my thank yous again for coming this far. It's been quite a journey. It's been a very fun one at that, like I said, many, many times. And uh, yeah, it's very surreal to finally be here, to be at the end. So with that, this is not the end, though. We are only getting started. So it's time to continue the Age of Fire and Link the Flame. Achievement unlocked to link the fire. I guess that's the first time I've done that on the computer then. Oh, I guess in remastered it is, yeah. So yeah, that's Dark Souls, guys. Hope you, uh, hope you had fun along the ride. I'm gonna let the credits roll here. I'll let it go to the end, why not? I guess I'll say a few more closing words. Um, the music here is really good too. <laughs> this is the untitled, the nameless song it's called. Also kind of sets the tone, right? We just come on this big journey with for a bittersweet ending. Having just been squeezed through the ringer, we're left with our thoughts and all the credits. Um, yeah, so like I said, we do have a new game plus ahead of us, so this isn't quite the end. But um, this will be the end for part one. <laughs> um, I don't know if part one is, I don't want to call it maybe season one? Nah, not season. This isn't, I ain't got the seasons for this guy. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I don't want to ramble too much. Just I want to say thank you again, and I do mean that. If you're seeing this live, that means you were one of the few to see it from the start. Once I got millions of subscribers, this first Dark Souls playthrough of mine will probably be a uh, legendary piece of media. <laughs> so that's what I tell myself, you know. But yeah, I'll, uh... I'll leave it at that, guys. For real, thank you for watching. Um, I'm not going to say anything else, so if you want to watch the credits, feel free to watch the rest of the video, but also feel free to close out or just move on to the next part, depending on when you're watching this. <laughs> anyway, guys, for real, take care. Hope you had fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.